Hey guys, Mark Abrams here, and Universal Audio just launched version 1.2 of Luna. With that launch comes the support for MCU-enabled control surfaces. If you're like me, I have Yukon controllers because I'm a Pro Tools geek, but Luna's super awesome and I want to be able to use it. So I have two S1s on my desk with a Pro Tools control dock. I'm going to show you how you can set up Yukon to be able to use it in MIDI mode with Luna. Here we go. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is tell Yukon to look at Luna for MIDI control. So to do that, I'm just gonna open up Spotlight and I'm going to type in Yukon and then Preferences. And I get this window that pops up. So this is also available in System Preferences. You can go to Yukon and you'll get the same window. And what you have to do is drag an application into this list that you want to be able to use the Mackie protocol. So I'll open up a new Finder window here. And then I'm going to go to my Applications folder. I'm just going to hit Command-Shift-A to get there. Find Luna. And I'm going to just drag that into the list. Now that I've done that, I'm going to make sure that it's enabled on MIDI ports 1 through 4. If you're an Ableton user or another program where you've got Yukon set up to use those MIDI ports, make sure that 1 through 4 are available for Luna to use. The next thing is in Luna, I'm going to go over to my Preferences. So I'll hit Command-Comma go over to controllers, and then under input device, Euphonics port one, Euphonics port two, port three, port four, and I'll make the output device the same for those. And then I'm going to turn on all four of those. And you can hear my faders clicking in the background because they're, they're coming up to speed here. We'll go back to Luna. I could either click on the UA icon here or just hit command comma. And then if I make a bunch of tracks, you should hear my faders all snap along with the new tracks that come up. Boom, there it is. They just flashed across my control surface and I am good to go to use my faders on my S1 inside of Luna. I'm pretty excited about this. I also have transport control on my dock. and it looks like we're good to go. There are some limitations. I don't have any of the automation modes working on my dock yet. If I figure that stuff out, I'll let you know.